Today we're going to be covering the best neighborhoods on Lake Conroe. This is a very long list, so remember what we're doing right now is we're going over a whole bunch of brand new blog posts, so go ahead and look below for the link to this blog post if you would like to read it instead of listen to it. So um, I know a lot of people are visual and this blog post is wonderful. I kind of give you the who, what, when, where, why on every single neighborhood, which I will probably not go over in this video. Um, Let's go ahead and get started. So number one, so I did this by most popular kind of warehouses are selling. Not all of these neighborhoods have for sale options right now. I probably shouldn't pick a spinny chair. Okay, number one, Bentwater. In Bentwater, the homes range, you can get close to the 200s, but mostly 200 to 4 million. This is in Montgomery County, right off of 1097 with close proximity to the rest of Conroe and the lake. You are close to the woodlands in Conroe, the highway system. It's an all-inclusive resort style, resort lifestyle community with everything on site, including a golf course and a country club and a marina. I list out all of the amenities on the blog post, nine tennis courts, pickleball courts, stadium style seating, full service day spa and salon, junior Olympic swimming pool, state of the art fitness center fine dining and so much more. The one thing you have to keep in mind are the neighborhood costs are between 2,000 and 4,000 a year. And they can be more than that, depending on which, which membership you get at the country club. And you have to have at least a social membership, which is about $1,000 a year. Number two is April Sound. In April Sound, you can find homes below 200,000 up to 2 million. This is in Montgomery, Texas, right off of 105 and also close, close proximity to everything. You're gonna have more restaurant options living in April Sound and number three, then compared to number one, amenities include the country club. It's, so both Bentwater and April Sound are gated and so that's really great. There are three parks, a pavilion, a garden, a social club, so much more. So Bentwater and April Sound both have country clubs and golf courses. And then number three is Walden. Walden is between the 170s, which I feel like it's creeped up a little bit lately to 1 million. So this is also in Montgomery right off of 105. This is a little bit farther down away from I-45. So if you are looking, they're not too far from one another, but technically April Sound. Bentwater is the closest to I-45, then April Sound, then Walden. They kind of work their way out. April Sound and Walden are right off of 105, but also you know, good proximity to a lot of restaurants and entertainment. Walden has um, Margaritaville inside of it, and there are tons of amenities. The golf course is really nice. There's also an elementary school within the neighborhood, which is really neat. I may forgetting about it. It does not have a gate, so I kind of like that. It's more like a laid back atmosphere, but it's not run down or anything like that. It's really nice. So number four, Palm Beach Estates, you're looking at between 300,000 and 1.6 million. Number five, Grand Harbor, between 300,000 and 800,000. Bella Vida, between 200,000 and 1.5 million. So there are lots left in some of these neighborhoods. There's, this one's gated, it has a small community feel. There are inland or waterfront options. You have water access, obviously, custom homes, and deep water. So sometimes people worry about that in these newer neighborhoods. Number seven, Blue Heron Bay between, this is including the lots between, so 70,000, 750. I feel like most of them at that price are gone. Um, I, most lots are between that 200 to 400 price point. Uh, number eight, Cape Malibu. Number nine, Corinthian. Point. I really like Corinthian Point. It's low key, it's quiet. There's a security patrol, tennis courts, basketball court, and community center. Number 10, Del Lago, between 350 and 1.2. There is a section that's gated and a section that is not gated. Number 11. Number 11 is not listed. Awesome. So you're going to have to look at the blog post. I don't know what happened. Uh, number 12, Paradise Point Condos. Number 13, Royal San Marino. Number 14, Twin Shores. And again, 15 is not listed. You see what happened? There's like a header on top. Um, number 16, Diamond Head on Lake Conroe. 17, Pelican Bay. 18, Point Aquarius. And 
20 Waterford Estates. So those are the 20 most popular neighborhoods on Lake Connor and I listed them from top to bottom. I think I just posted a more condensed version of this for 2021, well, for later on in the year. So the prices are a little more updated. But um, go ahead and check out this blog post if you are looking for options for living on Lake Conroe or in Lake Conroe communities. Again, not again, I keep forgetting to tell you my name, but my name is Jordan Schlacey and I'm a real estate agent and broker owner up in the Houston suburbs. I, co I focus on helping families and individuals relocate. I have tons of resources. I would really love to be a resource for you. This is something you can download or request that be mailed to you. This is our local map bundle. This one shows you all of the Houston suburbs, the woodlands, all of my favorite things to do, and a map of the woodlands. Also, we have our Moving to Texas book. This can be an ebook or a regular book. It's super beautiful, tons of information. And then my new favorite thing is the first time Texas home buyer, everything you need to know about buying in Texas. It is a little different than this one, but still has a lot of great elements of this one. And that's on the blog. All of my links are going to be down below. If you're thinking about relocating, if you have any questions, if you're a local, if you want to sell a house, I do it all. Um, so yeah, George Lacey, Joe Co Realty Group. I have hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.